and welcome back to Shainti Finance. Today's episode is dedicated to acrylics and I will be painting a vintage background. So the painting that you see behind me is a subject matter that I have painted on the background. So I do not have the background painting available anymore. It's already covered with the subject matter. But let me give you a little bit of idea about what it was and you will see the finished result at the very end. The reason I chose to paint this background and share how to paint this kind of vintage background is because this is a very popular as well as very useful background painting. You can not only paint something uh, sculpture-ish like this that I have chosen or uh, maybe a Buddha painting or something like that or you can even paint like uh, simple red flowers on top of that or this is a very common background that is used for vintage uh, style portraits like uh, portrait painting uh, similar to what the classical masters used to do so there is a lot of versatility to the use of this kind of a background so that's why i'm sharing this with you hope you find it useful and just to remind you i post to videos every Wednesday and Friday so the next day that I post the video I will be sharing how I painted this subject matter on top of the vintage background and uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel consider subscribing and if you like this background painting leave me a thumbs up and uh, definitely share in the comments what your thoughts are what else would you like to learn and share my video if you feel like because sharing is caring thank you for watching okay let's get started with the materials here I'm going to use these brushes I have a flat brush pretty thick or pretty broad-headed I have a filbert brush and I have a mop brush not sure whether I will use it or not but I have it and I also have a sponge handy. I'm not sure again whether I'm going to use it or not. Generally, I do not give a description or, or I do not share how what exact colors I'm using because I always leave it to people's imagination and their choice. But in this case, I will. I am using uh, titanium white, uh, yellow oxide, and cadmium yellow. And uh, I also have... Uh, burnt umber with me and I'm also going to use some uh, dioxys in purple at the end and I'm working with Liquidex Basics acrylic paint which is my paint of choice I love these paints um, they technically are called student quality but they are excellent for all your artwork and they are totally archival and life fast so uh, that's about it about the supplies and let's get started key to painting this background is to keep uh, the surface of the canvas wet so I am first spraying on the entire can canvas with water and making sure that the water is spread out evenly and uh, then I will start first with the white paint at the very middle of the canvas and then fan it out as far out as it stretches and you do not need to go till the very end of the canvas because the edges will be darker next I am adding a little bit of yellow oxide to my brush and not a lot I am starting with just a corner of it and then coming back with some white paint at the center I just want to fade it out little by little and have a kind of even surface but if there are some brush strokes remaining you do not have to get rid of all the brush strokes next I'm coming back with yellow ochre and now you can see that I'm going till about the very edges of the canvas with this yellow ochre and you can see that there is a gradual transition from the yellow uh, from the white to the yellow oxide to yellow ochre and now raw umber I'm bringing it to the edge of the canvas so the key is that the middle part is the lightest and you slowly get darker as you go towards the edges of the canvas and you can see that I am uh, now 
going to a mop brush and getting rid of some of the brush strokes now you can make it as even as you want it to be but and also you can use just a few strokes of the mop brush like I am using here uh, just to get rid of some of the brush strokes because this is an antique vintage background and most of the background is going to be covered with the subject matter whatever you choose to paint on it so it is up to you how much of the roughness or the texture you want to show how much of the brush brush strokes you want to leave so use your mop brush accordingly if you want to leave a lot of brush strokes then don't use it at all and if you want to use very little brush strokes uh, to be seen in the end result then use the mop brush as much as you want to now i'm coming back with a sponge and trying to block a little bit with the purple that i have and uh, i, uh, I want to mention at this point that all of this painting is done by the whole canvas is still wet now i'm adding some white and trying to mix the white with the purple so to build kind of a gradual transition from the light to dark and not abruptly go from white to purple at once that is not the idea but the adding of this purple or any bluish color actually gets the very dark uh, rusty kind of look that we are going for in this painting and like I mentioned in the introduction that this kind of background looks very well behind sculpture kind of paintings or old antique kind of looks if you would like that like uh, on the top of this you can do some writings like you would do in old parchment or scroll that looks wonderful too or even just simple flowers and birds look beautiful and there are lots of ideas that can be done on this background that's about it for this whole background painting i hope you will stay tuned next week to get to see what i end up doing on top of this background just as an idea and you could come up with your own ideas to paint on top of this background i hope you found this video enjoyable thank you for watching